Hey everyone, this is Travis with Diesel Laptops. Today we're on a Volvo truck with a Cummins ISX engine and we're using the Kajali Jaw Test here. These are the different modules it picked up on on this truck and we're just going to go into a couple of them here and show you the functionality of this tool. I'm going to start with the braking system. This is just a Bendix system here. Click connect. Anytime you see this please wait, that's connecting with the gel test link to the computer and then connecting is going from the truck back to the gel test box here. So fairly quick connect, you can come in here, all your menus are on the left side, but we'll start with read fault codes. Okay, you've got one active code in there that's designated with that red X on the left. And under system data you can actually go to ECU data, but I want to go into the parameters here and these are some different things here you can actually change under the monitoring tab this is where you're going to find your live data so you can actually view parameters on it or you can do it in a system display the system display is kind of nice it's same parameters you'd see the other way it just kind of puts it in a picture format for you there a little easier to read and we'll check mark to go back here and we'll actually go into the live data so you can physically see the parameters and you can narrow these down if you only wanted to see you know four or five of them but for the video's sake I'm going to go through all of these and it's a couple pages of them here so we'll just scroll through let you take a look at the different parameters and one more page here okay I'm just going to back up here and actuate this is where you can come in here and you can test some different components on um, some of your different lights your modulators test things like that system check that's going to be a wheel speed test and of course you've got maintenance for your resets and configuration and operation data this operation data is kind of neat you can look at the events for your dtc's here we'll just click this check mark and give it just a second to read okay and as you can see, it gives you a little bit of information here when things occurred. Okay, we'll disconnect now. And I want to go into the engine. It's fairly quick to connect again with the engine. It's just going to find that box and then find that engine ECM here. And the neat thing about this tool is everything's laid out the same way, so the menu system is going to look the same here. We're going to go into read fault codes. And it'll take it just a second. Okay, as you can see, we've got one active code here for coolant level. Um, this tool actually has built in service information, which is kind of nice. It does come in an extra fee a year, but I just want to show you this and what it looks like. It's just going to give you your step by step there, a couple things to check. I'll scroll through it, and of course, down there to the end to verify that you've solved the problem. Okay. If you buy through diesel laptops, we actually have our own service information in here as well. It's included with the kit, so that's no extra cost. I'm going to find this code again. I think that was 197. Yes. Okay. Minimize this and find code 197 here. Here we go. Okay, it's loading up. All right, as you can see, you've got your wiring diagram up here. It's going to give you a little bit of information about it. And then down here, you've got some troubleshooting steps as well. And this is through the knowledge base program. The next one I want to show you is DTC Solutions. This one will just kind of point you in the right direction. I've already pulled up Cummins and the ISX here. And this will give you, you know, just some quick information there on how to make the repair. Okay. Back to the gel test unit here. We'll accept this, and I want to go to system data. It's going to be your ECU data. I want to show you what this looks like here. All right. And we can scroll on down, give you some software versions, things like that. Parameters, here's where you can get in here. This is going to be a good stuff. You can change your max speeds, cruise control parameters, idle speeds, PTO parameters here. And then under monitoring, this is going to bring us back to our live data. Okay. And as you can see, 248 parameters here. We can narrow these down if you wanted to see just a few, just like you can any of the other systems here, but 
I'm going to scroll through a couple of these. I'm not going to go through all 31 here, but I'll give you a look at what all the parameters look like. Okay, we'll back up. Under actuate, you got a fan actuation. System check, these are going to be your tests. Your main ones you're going to do your cylinder cutouts, compression tests, your after treatment tests. And then in the maintenance tab, here's where you can actually come in and force regen, run your filter replacements, things like that. I'm going to go in here now and I've got to enter my expert mode code, which you need to run any of these major commands here. Just activate. Once it's activated, you don't have to do that again for the rest of the time the software is open. Gives you a little bit of information about what the regen is doing. And we'll click yes. And it wants to make sure we've met these parameters, which we have, the end of the title. And as you can hear, the regen's beginning. And we've got some parameters down here. We can kind of scroll back and forth and look at them all while the regen's running. Okay. I'm not going to sit here for the full length of the regen, so I'm going to cancel this out for here in just a second. But you can graph it out too as well if you need to view these while it's going. Another nice thing whenever I back out of this, click this check mark, it actually gives us an option and we can see all of that data from running the region. Okay. Check mark this and go back out. Under your calibration tab, this is where you can get in here and calibrate that VGT. And then, of course, they do have passwords management under configuration, so you can enter that ECM password there. All right, I'd say really good coverage with this tool. Thanks for watching.